telling a story. In a time of great prosperity, a tyrant king sent his son to live among the people and learn their ways. He did so for many years, until a great calamity befell the kingdom. In the aftermath, the tyrant's son was changed. The tyrant's son turned away from his father and became a warrior. The tyrant chased his son across fields and mountains and oceans. He said, if I can't have my son, then no one shall. In the end, the tyrant used his son's love of the people against him. He promised him a miraculous technology that could rebuild the kingdom. When his son came to claim it, he unleashed a plague upon him. His son was destroyed. And the tyrant looked upon his tyranny and wept. Is Rasputin... Is he talking about himself? I think the tyrant's son... Guardian, can you read me? There you are. Comms cut out completely. You're in a really old part of the bunker. The signal's terrible. This place is like a time capsule. Where are we? This looks like the casing of an old safety AI, but marked with Rasputin's symbol. These transcripts suggest his original code was for... a sort of emergency response system from pre-Golden Age space stations. Checking oxygen levels, fuel, that kind of thing. Clovis Bray took a safety AI and turned it into an interplanetary defense system with sentience. And Rasputin kept all this, almost like a scrapbook of his past. A way to remember his roots. And he showed it to us. When did he learn to be so sentimental? 
Wish Zavala could see this. 